have the world premiere of The Mars, baritone soloist Oscar Castellino. So when I say rise to Mars, I not only mean like a rocket rising to Mars, but also mean to, to rise above petty issues and petty struggles for fighting for small pieces of land, for example. Build a home for our children. Make I was being from a physics background, I was quite interested in humans going to Mars and that mission. Uh, and Robert Zubrin, one of his inventions called Mars Direct, he designed Mars Direct and that is, has been adapted by NASA for their Mars uh, mission. I just wrote to him saying that it's great and is there any way that I could contribute, you know, I've done physics. He said, well, you've told me you're a musician and we've been looking for an anthem for Mars. So when I told a friend of mine that I've written the Mars anthem, Immediately, he thought it was for Mars sticky bars because <laughs> Mars sticky bars are more popular than the planet. For a future, rise to Mars. Anybody can sing opera if you're trained because it's a specific science on how you sort of use your body. When you think of singing, you would think of throat, right? I'm singing from my throat. When we go to learn opera, we're supposed to remove the throat from the equation. If you sing for four hours in an opera, and without amplification, you're going to be ruined at the end of it. So if you look at opera singers, they're breathing, you'd see the stomach area sort of comes out a lot. Because here is where the most deep breathing is. So what do you need to use for an, as an opera singer is your entire body. So I've sung opera in Italian, in German, in French, in Russian, in Spanish. I have done songs in Konkani and recently I did an opera in London that was in Urdu. I find uh, the Indian voice to be very warm and real. And an advantage that Indians have is they have a large palette of sounds. We can pick up, our ears are attuned to pick up all these slight uh, changes in, you know, the soft and hardness of a D, for example. We live on the earth and we have our lives and, you know, there are two things. Either we try to do something of significance or we try to survive. When I got into something like Mars, when I got to know about that, it's something for the future of mankind. When I study music, I'm singing songs, opera songs that have been written in 1600s, and that was 400 years ago. And then, then something like this seems very close. It's not far away. 